Hello and welcome to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. I'm so excited about tonight's episode. One of the reasons being uh, our guests for this episode are technically the Kenyan version of Game of Thrones characters. <laughs> for real, one of the tribes in Game of Thrones when it was Dothrakis. In Kenya, we have the Ndudhirakis. <laughs> Simplified as Ndudhi guys. And just like, the, uh, just like in Game of Thrones, they still have so much in common. They have a common slogan, Ilea, winter is coming. For those who don't know winter, winter ni time ya baridi, which explains why watu wa Ndudhi wish indana jacket. <laughs> Dothrakis in the Game of Thrones appear uh, like warriors. War is their business. Now, if you want proof that Ndudhi guys are the Dothrakis in Kenya, Panda Ndudhi from point A, to point B, alafu kisha fika ambia ndudhiraki, hauna change ya thao, utamtumia kwa phone. This, this image shows the least, <laughs> this image shows the least than ndudhiraki can do. And feel free to check this out. They feature in uh, the top three disciplining forces in Kenya. <laughs> in the list of Kenyan professions that can offer you a beating on short notice, they rank at number three, following MCS and John Cena. <laughs> and as, aside from all the negative things that have been said about the guys, they are an important element in Kenya's economy and world entertainment. <laughs> now, now, even without playing the whole clip, you can already guess how it went down. <laughs> j j just to give you a clue, the result is similar to when Pastor Pius Moiro tried to run for president. Unonayo <laughs> sikuwe election. <laughs> Ali Anguka the day before. So tonight, <laughs> tonight in studio we have three do the guys. Uh, two are a couple, but they are professional bikers. Wale wama speed bike. Boniface Mwangi and his wife Jerry Mwangi are in the house. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Our other guest, Piani, was a speed bike. But in his case, ni speed ya kuwepa kanjo. <laughs> yes. Do the guy Gideon Winner is also in the house. Thank you. Thank you. Before we get to that part of the show, uh, this week Kenyans had a field day with the deputy president, William Ruto, after he quoted a Bible verse that does not exist. Ambiwa na waganga na wachawi ati mutufulani atakuwa kwa debe na mutufulani atakuwa kwa debe ujue mahali Kenya imefika. Lakini ata na wao tunaomba muwaombe wajue ya kwamba matayo sita telatini na tano watafute kwanza ufalme wa mungu now the issue here is Matthew has Matthew chapter 6 has only 34 verses but ya DP kuna 35 but I feel, I feel like Kenyans need to cut the DP uh, some slack they need to give the DP a break he's not the first Kenyan who drop verse haiko I'm not out there, I'm Jika Gumolapa. You can be my vitamin C. Shalalalala, let me be an eco James. Who are you, Nashinsky? We too. Nahata Nashinsky Monewa Ukweli, Aliaji Pataki, Bakama, an eco James. Madame Ziki, when I should have a city under his own. The Nana is so <laughs> now also on the matter of the DP quoting non-existent and an existent Bible verse, he only missed by one verse. Think about it. If the government is going to build nine stadiums instead of five, unajaribu kusema, ama unataka kusema, serikali yawezi tenga verse moja kando, yongezwe kwa mathayo, surely. And I'm sure if Matthew chapter 6 verse 35 does not exist in the Bible, it must be somewhere in the Jubilee Manifesto. And, <laughs> And if there's anyone who knows better than uh, anyone else, if there's someone who knows better than to edit the Bible, it's the deputy president. You've also said, ule mtu opinzani ya njaribu kutufundisha jinsi ya kuendesha serikali and all that. Kitabu ya Mathayo inatuambia jihadhari na nabi wa uongo. Wanakuja kama kondoo kumbe ndani yao ni mbwa mwitu. Hamwezi kunifukuza jubilee kama vile mnifukuza ODM. Uthen. Do you want to rewrite the Bible? <laughs> you get the point? It's very simple. It's very simple. The DP knows better than to rewrite the Bible. So there must be a reason for Matthew chapter 6, verse 35. Now, 
and Matthew must also be the DP's favorite book. Now, in other news, Gormahia management was, on this, uh, was in the headlines uh, for all the wrong reasons this week after pictures of players uh, from the team sleeping under benches at an airport surface online. First of all, that was not a good image for the team and it was also a dent not only to the team Mafisi but to the male fraternity as a whole. This right here can be taken as proof that Mwanaumeote and Alalanje ni player. <laughs> and there are different versions to this story. Some are saying that uh, this is poor management of the players by the clubs, while others are saying that this scenario was staged or misinterpreted. Ati iyo kulala chini ya viti ziko empty, ni kama kitu mama anafanya. Next speaker is Marvin Clayton. <laughs> Our acting talent is... Um, Underestimated, but the bottom line here is uh, there was poor management between the government and the Gor Mahia management because the players arrived very late. They arrived just two hours to the game. Now, still on football, an unknown gang raided a police post in Nandi and stole as cops on duty watch. They stole guns as cops on duty watched a, were watching a football match in a nearby trading center <laughs> on Tuesday night. Bunduki zilibiwa jumakarawa kwa na watch ball. <laughs> After this incident, would anyone blame Monomoyote Akiskia Storia Ball na Atoroke? <laughs> now, as you have already guessed by now, the subject on our show tonight is do the guys. I say do the guys because bikers can easily be something else. Do this. <laughs> do this or boda bodas as they are known are very important to the economy but sadly they are mostly they are mostly associated with a lot of negativity. There's no denying that do the guys are important. In fact, do these are so important that we have had cases in the news of Range Rover owners parading their vehicles as do this through number plates. Do this have created employment to very many people in this country? According uh, to an article carried by the Daily Nation on March 1st, 2016, titled Motorcycles Helping uh, Many Escape Poverty. Now you can see they are helping people escaping poverty, escape poverty. In the article, Mr. Mike Mose, the chairman of the Kisi Boda Boda Association, says that there are an estimated 56,000 bike riders in Kisi County. That will explain why watu wose ma watu wandudhi wakona kelele. Now, that besides, that's besides the point. Kisi is home to 200,000 people. Do the math. 56,000 out of 200,000 people ni wase wandudhi. Wakiendele hivo in 2022, kila mtu kisi ya takuwa mse wandudhi. Na ikibaki, ikibaki vile hiko sai 56,000 people out of 200,000 ni wase wandudhi. Kila mse wandudhi ya kibeba watu wane, Akuta kuwa na mtu anatembea kisi. <laughs> this is a whole economy. And tonight's episode is not only about the commercial and do this. There's a perception about bikes in general. And that's why in studio we have activist Boniface Mwangi, his wife uh, Jerry Mwangi, how on a speed bike. We also have Gideon Wina, who is a do the guy in town. And there's so much talk about this subject. So join us on the other end of this break for more and also an update on our tree planting initiative with uh, Narok Senator Ledama Olekina, who was our guest. Uh, in our, on our previous episode. So I'll see you guys on the other end of this break. Welcome back to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. Our subject on the show tonight, Nistoria and Dudi in general, both speed bikes and speeding bikes. Wasewa Kuhepa Kanjo. What? Wako represented on the show. And our guests, ni, one is a couple, uh, one, one team is a couple, Bilen Mesema. Boniface Mwangi and his wife, Jerry Mwangi, are in the house. Thank you. Thank you. And also, uh, to see the border border guys, when you were who are some of the biggest fans of the show, to call a representative. Wow, He's, he actually invented the word and doody. For real, our guest right learned the coin you gin and He should be in the Guinness Book of Records. Gideon Wina is in the house. Karibuni sana. Karibuni sana. He helmet by the to me have kuyekapa. He ni anjeri first. 
naangalia mismatch naangalia mismatch ya kichwa yenye inaingia hapa ndani <laughs> alafu this is also good news my friend chipukizi amekuwa naambiwa ngo hakuna helmet inaweza ingia kwa hiyo kichwa yake <laughs> now this 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 is a good sign karibu sana njeri asante sana gideon yes. mambo poa sana karibu sana sana umeingiaje tao <laughs> <laughs> nimeingia tu umeingia tu eh. umeingia hivi mpaka hapa eh nimeka mtumba hapa haya sawa karibu boni asante sana boni wewe uko hapa for initwaje when when msiwanduthi wewe utetea wasiwanduthi ndio una get na alafu wife yako pia yako hapa mambo poa sana eh nyinyi sasa kwanza eh, njeri wako na wako na run by the they are they are riding all the way to Rwanda ni when on friday on friday on friday easter yeah. so it's a three day ride Fri- tunaanza friday asubuhi then tunafika Rwanda on sunday kwa barabara kwa barabara yes 3 days 3 days na bike na ni madem peke yake madem wa sita ah naanda boniel kwa mgrampi kwa phone haya boni yes mazi unajua si wengi hawajua ngi ufanya hii bike nyingine bike nyingine ya kawaida eh mwana sha boda boda pia mimi for the last 13 years boda ama easy pia si motorbike ni motorbike lakini si baby abiria na beba bibi yangu nilikuwa ni limitu dem nikiwa na bike let's go nilibai ngi bike kitambo sana 2005 kukuanga na boda boda tao so nilikuwa wewe kwa tu na bike wewe ndio umeiva sasa nilipaki tu bike yangu stairs akanifuata ni haje story story and a ride and that explains statistic flani ya wasi wanduthi ndio wanapea na mimba kabisa unakata hiyo story Eh Jumi nilikataliwa na demu ya nduthi. Oh, na huyu alipata wife. Eh. A coin has two sides. Okay. Two sides. Eh. Au ja feel weird boni akisema ulingizwa box na nduthi. That is the truth. By then nilimona juu ya bike. Nilitaka kuongea na yeye juu alikuwa na bike. Ulitaka kuongea na Boni juu alikuwa na bike. Eh. Boni umesikia hakuna kitu kingine upendewa kwa hiyo. Hata ni bonge na yeye, hata ni get your chance. Hiyo yes. ingine sasa it just won my heart. Yeah. Unajua nimekutana na Gideon by the way. Leo amenibeba first nikienda place fulani. Na ameniambia vile wana survive tao ni nduthi lazima ikae kama ina guruma. Mna bridgeaje hiyo hasara kwa nini? So kuna ndanga hivi. Pade nduthi nafaa kukunywa mafuta kama ya 500 ama 400. So unaweka 600. Mia mbili ni ya kuguruma. Mia mbili ni ya kuguruma, mia nne ni ya kubeba customers. Mia mbili ni ya just in case. Eh ina guruma tu, yani siku nzima kutoka so mimi uingia kazi like 6. So ikiguruma 6, itazima nikienda lunch. Okay. Then from there narudi tena ina guruma mpaka nienda nyumbani. Mnaenda Rwanda na hizi bikes. Hizi sidhani mna sijui kama hizi zinakuanga na speed limit. Eh, what what drives you kwa he bike yenye inakani kama risk ni kama death trap amuiona ngivi let me say bike yenyewe mali nimepack sasa hii it's by itself haisongi the person who gets on it is the problem so nikienda kana fikiria mimi ninaweza pita anywhere yes. then i become a risk to myself and to others lakini nikienda kana jua this is a road there are rules kuna wengine wako na haki ya kupita kwa barabara to heshimiane yeah. then i stay safe and everybody on the road stays safe The problem becomes tukianza kuenda kwa barabara irresponsibly na pita mali popote I'm drunk I stagger through or I drive through or I ride through then I, I'm a hazard to myself and to all other road users so apo ndio shida ukua oh, so siati yeah. gari ama bike ni mbaya bike nimepark aisongi nikipanda hiyo bike well, the way yeah, I ride yeah, ndio yes. ita determine akipanda hiyo bike vile ata ride ndio ita determine bike haina shida yoyote kama gari tu we pick our kids from school with a motorbike but only carry one person on the bike so bikers don't die bikers get killed by motorists okay and most of the time when a biker is involved in an accident then most likely is the motorist at fault in but the other problem is boda boda riders i want a skills ko barabara i want insurance maybe ame kombo bike kwa sombili kwa dema sultano so na pitia wrong side hapo ndio shida iko so unapata ile mentality yenye motorist wako na ko barabara watu watu ni motorbike not no buy water so to buy water behind that helmet is a father is a daughter is a mother ni binadamu kwa pale na ile shida imefanyika hapa sasa hii ni kwamba kuna wale ambao wanatenisha bodaboda na kosea na wanavunja sheria 
badala washikwe na wahukumiwa mapeleko jela inakuwa kila mtu anakuwa blamed and then motorists anakuwa reckless but you see when you in a cage you think that you're invisible but the person on that motorbike is like your school teacher is like your grandparent people don't know so what you need to talk about is biker safety hiyo ni kitu tunataka kuongelea kwa sababu hakuna mtu anataka kudai akipanda kwa motorbike no one wants to ride on the motorbike and there are over 1 million motorbikes in this country which mean you can't ban, ban over 1 million motorbikes that maybe about the economy depends the biking economy what over 5 million depend on the economy yeah. which means what you can do is regulate the industry to ensure if someone has a the nduthi man akona motorbike yake akona insurance akona driver license akona helmet hii mm. helmet si yangu peke yangu ni yangu customer kanjo na karao <laughs> watu wangapi watano yeye ni yake peke yake labda tu ashie na na bibi unaona <laughs> so tao watu vangi helmet utao imagine kwa hivi utaona kanjo sangapi <laughs> That's why sasa zingine unapatanga tukoaje? Oh, hivi. <laughs> Otherwise iko hapa kwa tangi ya mafuta. Kwa nini ukiitwa ukiwa na helmet uwezi sikia? That's why unasikianga madem na ndudhi ni the same. Dem kumsimamisha kama ujuu jina yake unamsimamisha anga. Na ndudhi ukisimamisha ndudhi juu mjui jina unamtanga. So ni the same. So number one, hii helmet ushinde kianguka, nimeangushwa na kanjo, ndio hiyo. In fact hata ilikuwa mpya. Last week. <laughs> Last week. Last week ilikuwa mpya, unaona? Uh-huh. Lakini sasa juu ya kuangushwa nini 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 nini? Sasa hii mzee ndio unapeanga customer. <laughs> customer ndio apasuke kichwa. Hapana. <laughs> Alafu that what comes out hapa ni kuna safety times tu ya helmet. So, so nyinyi uji protect against kanjo na helmet sio kuanguka. Okay. Mm, sana sana hawa si wako hapa tao wengi ni wamesoma manzi. Acha nikwambie kitu moja. Nani na, na, ma professional? Saizi zini mekwambia nilianza bike embu. Ni hard sana utoe mse huku akuja endesha bike hapa. Hata wewe nikikupea uwezi endesha bike hapa town. Lazima u multitask. Ukue rada ya gari, mata, kanjo, karao na customer. Okay. So that's why hata nikiwaona naona customers. <laughs> uh, Jerry, what do you make of e life yenye mse wa boda anaishi? Una get? Safety ni paramount anafaji protect but circumstances around your job zinafanya anafa ana prioritize kuji protect against watu watu kuliko vile anji protect against incidences zenye zinaweza happen akiwa kwa barabara i think it's very unfortunate okay. that ni lazima the first thing anafikiria ni kanjo na karao anafa kwa kufikiria safety akitoka hapo akianza ku move juu kwanza amebeba mtu ajui ni nani amebeba yes you know it's 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 your mother it's your father it's it's somebody ajui ni nani amebeba yeah. alafu yeye mwenyewe ye ndio breadwinner probably yes okay lakini zile vitu anajali ni kama atapatikana na kanjo cause kupatikana na kanjo atangushwa ataumia ama atatupwa ndani atapoteza do that's not something they should be having to think about honestly from my point of view hawafai kwa kufikiria vitu kama hizo wanafaa kuwafikiria how do i get you umepanda nduthi ya mine na kuge helmet na reflectors kwa rakishi tunafika kule unaenda ukiwafiti unanilipa enda na Mungu na mimi nimerudi job. Yeah. Serikali inadharau maskini. Na wale ambao kwa barabara kanjo polisi na sonko na serikali ya county government wanaona wanaona watu boda boda ni kama quick money, ni kama ATM. So ile pesa inaokodoka katika Nairobi kwa watu wa boda boda ni illegal taxation. What is supposed to happen to come over boda boda kwa pale Kencom? The same way taxi na Nairobi hizi kuna taxi ranks. The same way matatu kuna ta, kuna matatu matatu terminal. <coughs> Watu wa boda boda wapatiwe terminal zao. Unajua msana bebea pali fulani na ni mtu fulani. Watu ambao wanatumia wanafanya kazi ya boda boda wanajua muzi ni nani, malaya ni nani, pickpocket ni nani, wakora Nairobi hii. Lakini hawezi fanya kazi na polisi because yake na polisi pia anatoroka, anatoroka. Gideon. Mm. <coughs> kwa kwa hii job vile Boni anasema mnajua wezi mnajua ni nani yeah, kwanza si wasi wa ndudhi tunajua na zote town na wezi ama na <laughs> <laughs> wasi wa ndudhi wenye tunaendesha bike eh? yes. tunajua na zote 
Okay. Unaona? Yes. So that's why number 1 tunajuana. Kanjo wanajua wenyeji na wanajua mgeni. Kwanza mgeni anakuanga na shida sana. Mtu wa ndudhi ni kama. Em, yani ni kama ya ya. Mwenye anakaa kuleta customer from outside town eh. Yes, yes, anakuanga yes. na shida sana juu. Hajui Kanjo. Si yes. tumezoea, unaona? So unaweza shiku. Unaweza unaata Kanjo kama ana uniform na ujui. Kanjo si ngumu ku si si ngumu ku, ku okay, unaweza muelewa Kanjo anakuanga na sura yake. Umwaiona huyu. <laughs> Eh hey, so unacheki akikwa umwaiona huyu msia kona nia na mimi huyu si hivi no, sasa no. unatofautishaje kanjo na customer nia na mimi ni customer ama ni customer na kusuma mishanga unaona huyu ni customer hey. kajo anakuja seming seming oh eh jua kona nia na wewe ama anakuja akiwa na jificha na wengi manzisi ati na wachomea wengi ya badrishangi nguo <laughs> for real so utamuona jana juzi umuona jana leo ukimuona hata utakosa kushida huyo ni yule uliona jana na juzi <laughs> na sasa si wasi wanduthi pia wanambu wanga wana kuanga na jacket moja for sisi hii ni hii ni uniform ya kazi baithi tunakuanga na nguwe mingi sana unaona ok so kama hii hii sasa ni, ni mimi ni msewanduthi ok nisipofaa hivi siyezi kula na siyezi kunywa ok unaona so uki umefaa hivi yes. sasa zingi tunapanga nguwe mingi sana unajua watu unasamanga sisi hati Hatuogangi. <laughs> Watu wanasemanga hatuogangi which is true according to them. <laughs> Lakini according to me, according to me, sasa mimi mi uoga, mi uoga, mi uoga. Sasa ukitoa hii sasa, hii ni ya baridi, unaona? Sa, eh, sasa mimi na Rimonia tuko hivi. <laughs> so hii nayo ni chest guard. So mimi na baridi okay. hatuwezi. Okay. Karibia. Ala, chunga mic yako. Oh, microphone iko hapa unajua oh, nimezoea helmet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sasa uh-huh. in case sasa uende kukula lunch mic uh, eh, microphone uh, chun, weka mic kwa bulletproof. Iko wapi? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sasa in case niende kukula lunch yes. ni sahau hii. Hii yes. ndio ATM unaona? So mwenye anaweza kama ni bie hii yes. mazi anaweza tajirika. Sisi tunakuanga na pesa mingi hata kama ni kidogo. <laughs> Aya sasa ukitoa hizi sasa mimi Uwezi sema mimi ni msewandudi na tanezi niko na hizi sasa. Yes. Oi, niko na nyingine. Sasa <laughs> 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 ukitoa hizi hivyo sasa, okay. manzee wacha ni. Ile yote ni swahili na mwana huyu. So, va microphone, va microphone, va microphone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> transformation that was quick as in mtu anduthi nguo mbili kidogo anakuwa kagumo la hapa nilikuwa nasikia gani kwa bridge sasa yes sasa mimi sasa mimi ni mtu anduthi sasa unaona okay and ukiwa hivi sasa uwezi sema kama mimi nafanya kazi yangu so yo that's how like this when it comes to safety ivo vile alikuwa amevaa is that safe enough ku ride bike I think uh, vile amesema hiyo story ya pneumonia hiyo yes. ni critical kwa sababu upepo yes. ikisha kuingia kwa kifua yes. utakuwa msiki eh okay. but the only thing mimi nimebakisha what sets us apart yes. na i don't know why they don't ni at least you've a niggard 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 eh is oh, something okay, okay. nikianguka <laughs> okay. which i think they should kwa sababu vile wasi kumwona kanjo sana niko nazo ni vile ziko kwa ndudhi hapo chini oh yeah. oh hiyo ni poa yeah. So nigad alafu boots hii boot ya mine ni steel okay. toe iko na steel ndani hata nikakanyagwa na gari itakuwa ngumu sana kidole yangu ifinywe ah okay yeah but because i ride uh, long distance sometimes ni yes. poor so that in the event that unfortunately i get an accident i am mostly i could walk out nikiwa fiti kwa wase wa nduthi na wase wote wa bike Eh, safety word na maybe kwa msiana mzee word moja ya msiana bebwa na nduthi word moja ya msiana ride nduthi tukianza na Gideon kamera yako ni hii wasi wa nduthi manzee uki drive ama uki ride nduthi yako kuwa na insurance driving license ni muhimu sana kama kama jana manzee jana kuna boy wetu alienda tunabebanga naye hapa Kencom aligongwa na ambulance ikiwa wrong side aligongwa na kapasu So inatuumiza juu tunamchangia unaona so hata hawa si wanaendesha hizo ma ambulance si poa manzee kwenda wrong hata kama umebeba mgonjwa hata hata huyu ameendesha nduthi maybe anakuanga na kifafa unaona <laughs> watu watu wako na mashida hata kama wako na nguo watu wako na mashida bro so tafadhali kila mtu ameenda kwenye Nairobi na shida kwa hivyo usiangalie shida zako angalia hata za mwingine hata mboni maybe ako nazo ni vile akamekanyangia 
<laughs> Wasenye kona magari na toko na kwa barabara share the road that is number one. Number two, uh, Governor Mike Sonko ato boda boda na umia sana. Wananisha rongi sari jona kupa kushikwa. Tafadhali, let a regulation ya ato boda boda. And then me as a private biker, I don't come to town with a bike anymore because of kushikashikwa na makanjo. So na umba tu serikali vizuri. Si serikali saidia, serikali fote sheria. Kushikashikwa wa sejo kwa bike tao, especially private bikers ni hatia. Unanishikia. Okay, for me, I think uh, wamesama most of it. Let's share the road. Like I said before, tuko, tunatumia hii barabara vile hiko, tukiwa wengi. So let's share the road. We've been enabled to go to Kigali because Shell wametuge mafuta all the way. Tuheshimiane, tu tupendane, let's share what we have. Sh uh, it's all about sharing. And let's take care of each other. Let's be safe every time. Jali mwingine, usijijali tu. Let's all care for one another. Wasa wanduthi wenye wakua pondani, nothing personal. Ni kuongea tu, ni safety. Sindio? Wapi makofi yao? Asanteni. Asanteni sana kwa kukua guest wetu wa shwe leo. And uh, last week tulikuwa na guest na tukasema tuna start a nationwide uh, tree planting event. So, Narok Senator, uh, ledama ulekina tumekua in talks na yali promise atapeana seeds. Kadha, seeds za miti. Apeane wasewa pande, alafu yeye atakuja by hizo miti. But before that, tutenda tree planting, Narok, uko Mau Forest, na wasi wenye wanajisikia kuenda. Nimepata hizo mafeedback zenye mna send kwa social media, Instagram, eh, Facebook, na Twitter. All those who are interested, nita respond kwa kila mtu. Na it's open for everyone. In fact, we can have as many people as we want because uh, aita ham tukikuwa na miti as many as we can. In fact, if you can have everyone, your time tunenda Mau, a plant at least, at a miti mbao, 20 per person. Even better. Uh, you can reach me out on my social media handles at Dr. Underscore Kingori on Twitter and Instagram. Dr. Kingori on Facebook. Na kwa Instagram yangu actually kuna namba ya simu. Enda u text. Upeane details. Alafu, by the next show, I promise, tutapeana details za vile tutakutana. Tuende yo story ya mau tree planting na vile wasewa na zapata seeds. Otherwise, asante ni sana. Once again, asante. That's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. Kingori.